Yeah, war. It was targeted with weapons of mass destruction. The president blamed the United States and some European countries for adopting a double standard approach toward terrorism. According to Rouhani, these countries claim to fight terrorist groups such as Daesh and Al-Qaeda, but they turn a blind eye to the terrorism sponsored by the Islamic regime. Barhi adds, Certain regimes are establishing a basis of terror and tie their existence to the creation of terror. A vivid example is the fake Zionist regime that was created in Palestine. It was founded on terror, intimidation, and occupation, and has followed the same path thus far. Rouhani noted that fighting terrorists requires the development of a common approach toward all terror groups. Terror. Terrorism will not be eradicated as long as some powers view it as a tool in their hands and as long as there is no real collective resolve to fight terrorism. President Rouhani also criticized certain regional countries for supporting terrorist groups. Why are some Muslim countries in our region helping terrorists? Why do they fund and arm terrorists and share responsibility for the atrocities against civilians? There is no doubt that sooner or later their policy of helping terrorists will backfire. The Iranian president reiterated that Tehran will stand by the victims of terror anywhere in the region. Either inside or outside our country or in neighboring nations, wherever we see the emergence of terrorism and the massacre of innocent people, we will act against it and it will help the oppressed people. Concluding the remarks, Rouhani urged regional countries to engage in political negotiations and share intelligence in order to adopt a united front against terrorism. Iran is one of the main victims of terrorism, blaming major foreign terrorists for supporting terrorist groups in the region. He says terrorism will not be eradicated as long as it is used as a tool in the hands of global powers. Tony Gosling, an investigative journalist, has more to say in this regard. One of the things Mr. Rahani said, which struck me as uh, really a message which needs to go out to the whole world, is the uh, effectively the, um, the, the lack of uh, action on the oil tankers. Uh, the, the, the fact that ISIS, this terrorist group that the West is supposed to be fighting, is able to trade oil freely around the world. And as Mr. Rahani pointed out, uh, the West boasts about its satellites being able to read the number plate. The news press even on papers that people are reading in the street and yet it can't see these oil tankers going around the world uh, making money for ISIS. I would suggest, and uh, there's a lot of people around the world, including people in the British military right now and ex-military people I've had on my program in Bristol uh, who point out that this is a farce. The British people and the uh, people in the Western world are being sold a lie here because actually in reality, ISIS could be closed down in the blink of an eye, closing down bank accounts, uh, and also actually attacking the headquarters of ISIS. Uh, one, in many places, but there's a particular uh, hotel in Mosul, for example, which could be closed down immediately. But the West 